Good morning, Erica. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. I want to make this quick video to say thanks so much for coming by with your husband, spending time with me, and giving me the opportunity to earn your business. We're inside this awesome 2021 Forest River Vibe 26BH. So I know you guys said that this was your favorite floor plan, something that you can grow into as you expand your family here in the near future. I know you guys really love the vibes and why not? They're absolutely beautiful. We have a fantastic price point on these and they feature a lot of options that other brands do not have. So I know you're considering that shorter floor plan. Uh, but honestly, if you're looking long term, I would definitely recommend having a separate bedroom. Uh, that way, if somebody's staying up later, you uh, are not going to disturb the person that's sleeping versus having that Murphy bed wide open in the living room. Here we have an additional closet, which is really great with the vibes. Uh, they do like to use, utilize this space here that most brands just leave empty. Of course, we do have the blackout shades for privacy and energy efficiency. The ones that we have here now have two ACs, which is going to be really hard to come by early next year. We have a large place for television here. You can fit a really good sized TV. You do have USBs and regular outlets tucked behind where that pillow is there, as well as here with the nightstand for food and drinks. You also have a ward here. And these cabinets are super solid. I'm really, really impressed with the cabinetry on these new vibes. And also underneath here, you have these little totes. All you have to do is remove that strap and it pulls right out so you don't have to lift this, lift this up every time. A uh, little pocket uh, storage there, a place for your shoes underneath here. So we have one flush floor slide. This is a uh, cable driven slide system so it's got a really great insulation factor. It includes the large television which is a smart TV, upgraded sound system. You do have dual uh, heat sources, which is going to be the furnace via propane, which is the black ducts here. Uh, what's really great is that you don't have the ducts in the floor, which can cause problems, makes it a little bit uh, harder to keep clean. And you also have the electric fireplace. Really great use of storage again. We have this right here, right by the entrance. You have a trifold couch that easily turns into a bed. Big U-shaped dinette, room for the whole family, room to eat, room to work or play games. You also have storage underneath here as well. And I don't think we actually opened this yesterday, but hey, look, they give you a uh, little plastic storage container, which is nice. Two large teddy bear, double bunks, super comfortable. You have a window on top that opens and a window on bottom that opens. And this whole thing for storage here does include a ladder, which is kind of funny. Some bunk houses don't have ladders, but ours does. Big bathroom, huge shower, skylight for additional headspace, fan here, angry fighting octopus for hanging towels and clothes. Secondary entrance straight in here, so you can keep your camper nice and neat. A uh, hand towel holder, which is already mounted. It's kind of funny, but some RVs don't have that. Grounded power connections. And let's see what's going on with this medicine cabinet. It's got straps there to keep it secure. Of course, this is all, all these lights are on with only the solar. It's a 165 watt panel that comes from the factory. That's about a $2,500 value. Big pantry. And what's nice is that Vibes give you lights in here. A lot of brands don't do that, but you can check out your snacks, check your inventory, all that. Big 10 cubic foot all electric refrigerator. This is running off of just solar and it cools down much faster than conventional ones. It's a lot deeper because we only have electrical components, not propane. Residential power microwave, it'll very quickly and evenly heat food. Low profile range hood, so whenever you're cooking, this will vent outside. That sensor to give you additional counter space. Fancy blue LEDs and the knobs here. We also have igniters in the oven as well, which is really great. You don't have to light it manually. Place for pots and pans. They already give you one of these, which is nice. Storage underneath the sink and a trash can, which is great. We also have one piece undermount stainless steel sink and they do include a doohickey. That's a technical term for drying dishes. We also have a residential power faucet here which is really nice versus other cheesy ones that are out there. Main control panel, conveniently located by the door. We have super nice steps here, three steps. They're very easily adjusted. Extra large door handle for safety. Compact outdoor kitchen. So we have a 
1.7 cubic foot fridge, thermal induction cooktop, which includes a skillet, removable sink, uh, spray port here for cold water. That just slides in like so, and you're ready to go. Also, the awning is pretty much the whole length of the camper, which is really great. Tons of coverage on a sunny day. Up front, we have the pass-through storage. As you can see there, it's aluminum frame. That is part of what makes the labs uh, lighter and stronger. Power stabilizer jacks, which is going to also become more rare as time goes on here. We have magnets holding up the doors, not clips. So you don't have to worry about your friends or family accidentally breaking those. And they just become brittle over time, so that's one less thing to worry about. Really sharp graphics, marine grade speakers outside, wider separation here of the axles for better towability. You can mount a TV outside or uh, plug it in right there rather, use a table. Propane electric water heater, door straight into the bathroom, cable and satellite prep, ready for a backup camera. Backup cameras can save lives because this RV is two ACs, it does have 50 amp service. Outside shower with hot and cold water, city water connection, black tank flush, and I said that was important to you. And what's behind door number three here? Storage underneath the bunk. Furnace exhaust. We have one dump station here. Completely sealed slides, which is really nice. Better insulation. Fresh water connection here. The other side of the pass-through storage. Two propane tanks, which we will fill for you. Electric tongue jack. And the kill switch for the solar right here. Okay, Erica, gonna sneak out from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. I know you guys are about six to 12 months out. I would love to turn your business whenever you're ready. We are a big dealer for Vibe, so we try to keep as many in stock as we can. Of course, supply and demand is just outrageous right now. But please do keep me in mind as you're searching around for RVs. If you have any questions or concerns, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Please feel free to give me a call, text, or an email. Thanks again.